Earth is great. It really is. We have pizza, Wi-Fi, sunsets, and the ability to breathe without a suit. But the truth is, just because the other planets in our solar system don't have humans, it does not mean they are boring. In fact, some of them are doing insane things in their own little way. You just need to know where to look. Let me prove it. Let's start our trip at the very beginning. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and it is basically a burnt rock hurtling through space. You won't find any atmosphere or any weather here, just 800 degree days and minus 300 degree nights. You would melt and freeze in the same 24 hours. It is also shrinking. Its iron core is cooling and the crust is wrinkling. So technically, Mercury is an old sunburnt raisin with a death wish. But it does have the fastest orbit. One Mercury year is just 88 Earth days, which means the quickest lap in the system. Next up, we are at Venus, which is the drama queen of the solar system. Venus is the second planet from the sun, but don't let her beautiful golden glow fool you. This place is a pressure cooker. The atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide, and the surface is hot enough to melt lead. If Earth is a spa day, Venus is a cremation chamber. It rains acid here. The clouds are made of sulfuric acid, and the pressure is so intense it would crush a human like a tin can. And yet, scientists think Venus might have once been Earth-like, that there were oceans, clouds, all that. Then something went very wrong. Then we reach Earth. Home, sweet home. The only planet we know of with life. Here we have balanced temperature, breathable air, magnetic field, water, tectonic plates. In short, Earth is weirdly perfect. Almost too perfect. We have earthquakes and hurricanes, sure, but compared to what's coming up, we are on vacation. Now, buckle up, we are heading to Mars, which is basically everyone's favorite backup planet. Mars is cold, dry, and dusty, but it is also the most Earth-like of all the others. There is ice at the poles, ancient riverbeds, and even signs that liquid water once flowed on the surface. The atmosphere is super thin, mostly carbon dioxide, but if you brought a spacesuit and a shovel, you would find frozen water just under the surface. Also, it has the tallest mountain in the solar system, which is Olympus Mons, three times taller than Mount Everest. So yes, no oxygen, but great for hiking. Moving on to Jupiter. Jupiter is so massive, you could fit every other planet inside it twice. It is not solid, it is a gas giant, mostly hydrogen and helium. That giant red storm on its face is actually a hurricane. The show off. We all know Saturn for its stunning rings, which are made of ice, rock, and dust, but Saturn is more than just pretty. Like Jupiter, it is a gas giant with wild storms and dozens of moons. It has over 140 that have been confirmed. One of them is Titan, which has rivers, lakes, and rain, but instead of water, it's all liquid methane. Our next stop is Uranus. The most interesting thing about this planet is that Uranus spins on its side. It rolls around the sun like a lopsided beach ball. Scientists think it got smacked hard by a massive object that knocked it sideways. It is an ice giant made of water, methane, and ammonia, giving it that pale blue color. Its atmosphere is calm on the outside, but deep below it is believed to rain diamonds. Yes, actual diamonds. And before you decide to go mining, it is minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, and there is nowhere to stand, so cancel your trip right now. Now we visit Neptune, the edge lord of the system. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun, and it is dark, cold, and violent. Winds here are the fastest in the solar system that sometimes reach 1,200 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound. Like Uranus, it is made of ice and gases, and it also likely rains diamonds. The blue color is due to methane, which absorbs red light. Neptune is also home to Triton, which is a moon that orbits backward and might be a captured object from the Kuiper Belt. It is icy, mysterious, and has geysers shooting out nitrogen. And then way out there, we have Pluto. 
Yes, it is technically not a planet anymore, but let's be honest, it deserves a spot. Pluto is a tiny frozen rock with a heart-shaped glacier and mountains made of water ice. Its orbit is so weird it sometimes gets closer to the sun than Neptune, and beyond that is just an endless void filled with dwarf planets and frozen mysteries. So yes, Earth is nice and all. But out here in the solar system, every planet is doing its own wild thing. If you ever got the chance to live on a planet other than Earth, which one would you pick? Tell me your choice in the comments. But before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more quick and casual explanations. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.